Hey there, I'm Douglas from DraftPit. In this video, we're going to be looking at the haptic feedback action. This is a feature that adds tactile feedback to your application using the device vibration system on Android and the haptic engine on iOS. Haptic feedback is commonly used to provide a more immersive user experience. You've probably felt it when tapping buttons, receiving notifications, or performing gestures on your phone. It helps give users a physical response when interacting with the app making it feel more intuitive. So since on an emulator, there's not really a way to test this out, I'm, I'm just going to be explaining how it works. So before the video, I sit on my physical device and all the features are working and it's actually vibrating. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a button and we're going to call this button haptic feedback. Then on click, we're going to look for the action. So it's called haptic feedback action. And that's all it takes to add a haptic feedback to your button. So now when this button is clicked, it now has haptic feedback. So if we go back to the haptic feedback action, then we'll see how it says uh, intensity. So this provides different intensity levels, each producing a unique vibration or haptic effect. So I'm going to go through each one. So first we have light. So this is commonly used for gentle interactions like tapping a button. Then we have medium. So this is a slightly stronger tap, providing a more noticeable but still soft feedback. Then we have heavy. So this is a firm deep vibration, ideal for interactions that require more emphasis, like holding down a button. Then we have success. So this is a satisfying pulse that you just see. So this is maybe for you know, a successful message when a payment has gone through. Like if you've used um, Apple Pay or Google Pay, when the payment goes through, there's like a there's like a tick that comes out, like an animation that comes out. It's like a tick, and then there's like a vibration that comes out. So that's like a success vibration. Then we have error. So error is just like a sharp vibration that signals you that you know something went wrong. So usually you see this if like a Apple Pay if your card was declined, it's just going to be like D. Then it's just going to be like a single vibration. Then lastly we have warning. So this is a moderate vibration pattern used for cautionary alerts. So this is going to be like an alert that's just, that's just going to warn you of something. So what are the practical use cases for the other ones? So for success and warning, we've already explained this, but then for light or medium, so this will just be for button taps. Like if you're typing on WhatsApp, some keyboards might have this uh, light tap when you're typing and you actually be able to feel it. And then we have, um, Heavy. So heavy is for uh, long interactions. So sometimes uh, when a user is supposed to long press a button, you want you want them to press it for X amount of seconds uh, before a certain action happens. So they press the button and then to notify them that you know something is uh, is actually happening to give them some user feedback, we actually have this heavy uh, feedback. By incorporating haptic feedback, you make your app feel more responsive and engaging. And that's it for the haptic feedback. We've covered what this action is and why it's useful and how to add it to your buttons uh, on press trigger. And we've covered reward uses to improve uh, user interaction. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, drop a comment if you have any questions. Thank you and see you in the next video.